Welcome back to Varnberg Implement and today we're here with an exciting new product that just arrived the new Massey Ferguson premium high spec 5S 145 tractor this features the Massey Ferguson exclusive high visibility hood that steep sloped hood and this year 30th anniversary of the steep sloped hood on a Massey Ferguson tractor. Uh, it, it does incredible visibility. We've got a loader for this tractor. We haven't got it installed yet, but we want to take you for a little ride before we put the loader on to show you just how awesome the visibility is this. Plus it's a little easier to show you some of the features and stuff. This has the new styling with the new bayonet, the new light gray bayonet on it. It is signature on our S-Series tractors. The S-Series tractors are our high-spec tractors. Uh, superior features, superior performance. That's what you're gonna get out of an S-Series tractor. This one is 145 max boosted engine horsepower and creates 116 PTO horsepower. Power the hood. There's a key slot right there, and the hood will pop up. Isn't that awesome? Accessibility to do your maintenance needs on your 5S series tractor. Hood pops up and out of the way to easily get in there and maintain this tractor. This tractor features the Agco Power 4.4 liter four-cylinder motor. fuel sipping, torque, torquey engine, and powerful. Man, these things are amazing what they'll do. You've got access panels to get in there to clean out your condensers and radiators. You've got, uh, it's all packed here, fuel coolers, hydraulic coolers, air to air cooler. This side, you've got the same thing. To get in there to clean it all out isn't that a slick way it helps funnel the air those little snap-in panels help funnel that air to make it go through the cooler and keep your engine nice and cool got your fuel filters right back there air conditioner coolant overflow tank so you can easily see the coolant overflow and your air cleaner right here that's the Agco power 4.4 liter engine it's powerful it's very very fuel efficient and it has been amazing performance and look at how short that hood is and that sucker is very short and compact. That's gonna give us that excellent visibility from our operator back here. And, and teamed up with the Vizio roof, you open up a wide, wide array of area that you can see from the tractor seat. And we'll just let you experience it here in just a little what bit. What are some of the things that make the S-Series unique compared to our Global Series? Vistronic fan. This is a variable speed fan can engage can engage and disengage itself based on its need the Vistronic fan also produces engine braking when you're going down a hill and you need additional power from your from your engine to, to brake it also monitors the engine the air conditioning the transmission and hydraulic temperatures to apply engine fan needs when you need it so that is one of the unique features of this 4.4 liter premium version of the engine that's in the S-Series tractor. It also has a low idle, um, which saves a lot of fuel. We'll shut this here and we'll start talking about the tractor. Um, the low idle reduces the engine RPMs to 750 engine speed. 
uh, which is a 15% of, basically idle speed is 15% of any tractor life. Uh, we're going to jump in here, do a quick overview. Got the new toolbox out here. Nice and easy to get into. You don't need a great big toolbox with Massey Ferguson. Just a place to store some of the tools you need, hitch pins and that stuff. Coolant heater comes standard. Got a remote plug in here. The cord comes with it. Uh, fuel, Diesel fuel in the black cap. DEF in the blue cap. Yes, this does require DEF. It does have the dual knock sensor system. Uh, one of the neat things is the new steps. The new gray steps sure make it easy to see getting in and up and out into the tractor. Uh, this one features the TM600 Trailberg Premium Radial Tires. These are 18438s on this tractor. Really fills up the, the fender area there for a nice clean look. On the fronts, we've got the Trailberg 38085, which is your temp, the old adage 14928s, and pivoting front fenders. These fenders can, can, can stop and the wheels can continue to turn to maximize turning radius. This one does have the loader ready, and as we mentioned, we will be putting a loader on and adding that installment here later. LED light upgrade got the roading lights got leds up there this sucker is bright at night now standard feature flat face coupler quick attach even connects the loader function all at once you have to pull this red handle out here And that shuts that case and it brings that door down look at that to protect all those couplers that's pretty slick standard equipment now on the s series tractor two-door cab here's a good visibility thing here's that steep slope bonnet hood that area that you're getting the visibility from the hood this is the added visibility from the vizio roof that's a good analogy of what this tractor can do for you for to provide excellent visibility. Dual cabs. You can come in from either side. This has got the wider fenders on here. Covers out to that edge of that tire there. Uh, wheel weight package now. Uh, similar to the Global Series, three sets can be put on here. And this features the hook three point. This is something that we love. If you run a disc mower, three-point disc mower, this is a must-have almost on a tractor anymore. It makes hooking and unhooking a three-point disc mower. Watch our video where we show you how simple and easy it is to hook up. Um, you got the... This will slide um, up to get to the PTO shaft. You got the 540 thousand all you got to do is change those bolts there and thousand pto four sets of remote valves two that are electric you can sell that by the little levers here uh, two electric two mechanical you've got your trailer plug in got a new uh, spring loaded mechanism to hold the top link We've got the top link inside so somebody doesn't walk off with it. Rear washer. The new silver bottom is even to the cab, man, and it makes it so much easier and lighting to see up underneath there. Uh, you wouldn't believe how much this is going to make it easier if we need to maintain your tractor and look. That silver color brightens it up. Standard equipment. This is actually a deluxe version, but this is standard equipment. PTO on off switch. You push and hold for five seconds. It'll engage the PTO when the proper seat and parking brake calibration or settings are done. You can run one set of the electric remotes from here. You got up and down. 
to activate this if you wanted it to go down you do a down up to wake it up and then push and hold your down button and it will lower the three point you got the fenders extensions led lights your cab air filters on the back here big mirrors but let's jump up into this tractor and see what it's all about and we're even going to take it for a little test drive. got your buddy seat the, the cushiony foam cushioned backrest and seat and this will actually flip up when the parking brakes out of the way to make it wider the exclusive massey ferguson cloth design with the triple triangle embedded in it and then the back you've actually got the Massey Ferguson logo there that you can see. Uh, short armrest on this side, and we've got the long armrest. Since this is the deluxe version, it will come with the multi pad controller, which is right here. That is something that, man, there's a lot of features and functions with it. Um, you got one and two, that's your field. One is your field mode, and it'll only bump the power shifts here or with your controller you can bump this your left hand reverser in two you can go through all the all six 24 speeds because this is the deluxe this has the new dyna 6 transmission with four gears six power shifts and a super eco gear at 25 mile and uh, the it, 1550 engine rpms it'll do 25 mile an hour in that basically the highest power shift and highest gear range so gear four six power shift super eco mode uh, you have auto drive that you can drive the transmission with the pedal that will shift up through the different gears with that but let's uh we're going to fire this up That's with the cab open. Listen to how quiet that thing is. Very quiet cab. We'll turn the air conditioner off. Listen to how quiet that is. Tilt and telescopic steering. You can tilt that down and then pull on the lever and it will telescope out. And this panel comes with it. See that telescope or tilt it there. And when I pull it back, notice the whole panel comes goes with it. So you've got tilt and telescopic steering. You got uh, air conditioning. These are return vents. These here. There's a return vent here and a return vent over here. So you want to keep them open to circulate your cab air. And here's another one got air vents here and here got a can cooler you can actually put a can in here and you can get the air blowing through there man your temp control radio with we're going to set this off here just for with controls for the radio you can increase the volume here All it takes is a neon sky. you can pair your phone you can scan through the stations and you can turn the volume off this is your auto drive or your hydraulic lock if you were running that now for the new 5s the two remote valves are going to be controlled with the micro joystick one one remote one this way remote two side to side the loader has its own separate valves with live third function that you can engage live third function with this blue button here you got forward and reverse shuttle you got f3 and you got h4 f3 is a function button you've got actually functions you can control f1 f2 f3 
increase decrease power shifts and a neutral trigger back here and the same thing here you have a neutral trigger so you've got pretty much total command you got your three-point raise and lower here um, speed up down there auto drive if you had GPS or auto guidance this is your loader uh, soft drive the loader lock probably one of the greatest features for a round baler auto neutral it's brake to neutral so when you hit the brakes it stops and you can turn that on and off you've got your lights you got your key switch your hazard lights you have your three-point linkage and if you you'll notice that some of these aren't lit up this tractor has been the deluxe version is a pressure flow compensated hydraulics we went with the 26 gallon per minute close open center system so or this one has the pressure flow compensated because we don't have a combining valve excuse me there I uh, made a mistake but I admit to it. 540 you got your eco 540 there's neutral thousand this is all your lights you can turn on you have your light switch with the light switch on come up here and you're you got your upper cab lights every one you turn on will turn to green when it's activated you can turn on your roading lights and they'll go off your beam comes on and when you flip back by pushing this button here you can switch between field range field mode and road mode with your lights there that's pretty slick you got your high beams for your right there to for that windshield front windshield wiper horn and look at this view isn't that amazing you can see so awesome down that steep slope to it doesn't even it almost makes you feel like you're setting on the, the uh, front axle it gives you that feel uh, but look at this add that Vizio roof and look what it would do with the loader when we get the loader hooked up we'll do that it does have a shield here that you can connect Ooh. to block out the warm sun um, radio we talked about you've got your differential lock auto diff lock power front auto power front these can be set up with triggers to enable them this is your neutral auto drive there's auto drive forward reverse shuttle there's your engine speeds um, auto PTO and then this is your new three-point controller you can sit here and activate your three-point this is a return to position that black knob so if you're running a disc mower you need to lower it if you're running a non massey ferguson brand because massey ferguson all you have to do is operate the hydraulics to run the disc mower because you don't have to raise and lower it every time but some brands you do this would allow you to return back to that same position to start rotary cutters another application um, you do have iso or uh, usb power ports charge that phone up while you're out there using it um, you can Bluetooth the phone to this tractor so you can take phone calls with it the mechanical remote with you got neutral lower raise or actually raise neutral there is down and that is float position and with detail and you can move this gate here 
and lock it out of float position. Or you can move this forward, turn that gate, and it'll stay in a constant pumping situation. If you're running constant pumping and you want to get out of it, take it to float position first before you come back to neutral. That just makes it easier on the tractor. Fuses relays are all under this. This window will open on both sides. You got one of the things is automatic air ride. You pull the button and it'll automatically adjust for your weight. You have constant pivot to either direction by flipping this upper lever. Um, you have seat fan adjustment down here. You can slide this forward or you can raise the front edge of the seat up. Have field office over here. You got your backrest. You can lay it back in that mode with this one. And you got heated seats. Uh, almost July in Missouri, and I don't think I'm going to need heated seats. It's going to be 102 tomorrow. Uh, you've got a double latch system. This one actually just opens it up just a little bit if you need to. Or you can take it all the way open. That sucker opens a long ways there. The handle to pull it back and lock. There's your field office. Got a great place to store thermos there. Seat belt for your back here. We have our cigarette lighter. Uh, you have your three pin ISO power port right there. And you have another ISO power port right here. This is a different pin position, and you have an on-off switch, 12 volt there. And we forgot the PTO switch. That engages the PTO, disengage, and off. The four-way keypad here operates the lower left screen. The low, we'll just go through go all the way here to the left you have your field area and this if it's blinking that's because of the frame rate of the camera and the LCD exposure you can see it flashing there um, this is your you can set up your implement area your implement width you can set up your trigger you hit OK, we can go through, scroll through different triggers that allows it to, when the PTO is activated, it'll start counting. This is your area covered. Um, if you watch, we just did a video on a 5711 Global Dyna 4 has these same two screens here. And we went through this. This is fuel counters. This is going to show you lifetime fuel, current fuel, and DEF usage. This is external three-point switches on, your maximum engine RPMs, priority, uh, three-point or remote valves, and I'm going to adjust this down. We're going to do about an 80-20 is where we like to start this off at, because if you're going to use the three-point, you want it to go first but you don't want to limit any hydraulic functions. You still want flow to that. Uh, this is where you do modulation settings. You can, you can actually, on the S-Series tractor, you can adjust the modulation of the forward to the reverse shuttle shift by each direction. You can make it more aggressive in the forward, smoother in reverse. That's done in this screen here. And then the bottom, the plus minus, is your power shift, how aggressive they are. Uh, you can control remote, you can set remote flows, one, two, loader, your three different loader functions can all be done. 
And then you can go into engine, you can set engine speed A. And you can set that right here is where it's gonna go to. So we went to 1800. There it goes, hit the button again and it comes off of it. You can set how aggressive that engine speed change is. This is correlate, there's some mini headland stuff. This is your loader functions. Um, front axle engagement. Your F1, F2, F3. F1, F2, F3. What do they do? Well, we just go ahead and hit OK. And F1, we can set for a C1, a engine speed. Those are going to be preset speeds. Forward, forward direction, diff lock, answer telephone, neutral, brake to neutral. You can turn it on from there. Uh, three point raise and lower. Those are all different functions that you can set F1, F2, or F3 for. Um, in your to use the buttons that are over here on the multi-pad controller or the joystick button. Uh, the next one is going to be some system status, voltage, transmission temperature, engine temperature. Uh, this is the brightness of the screen and then the bottom one down there, uh, this is time setting, uh, military time or AM, PM, and the bottom one is your Motel 6 mode I joke about, is you'll leave the light on. Uh, when you exit the tractor, how long the lights stay on until, basically barn mode is what it's called. The right side has, uh, you're going to be your gear, what gear and what power shift, your speed, your RPMs, fuel gauge, uh, def gauge, temperature gauges there, your clock in the middle, and then your warning gauges. And with the deluxe, you get the chrome steering wheel, get the added chrome package, the chrome on the bayonet on the console. This is similar to the chrome, the bayonet on the hood. Uh, it's a little fancier. Now one thing to listen for, we're at 750 RPMs. This is an eco idle mode. Take the parking brake off and we just went to 850. That is the eco idle. We we'll shift into forward here. These are your preset takeoff speeds. This is what C1, C2 is set up at. We're in, road, in auto drive for road yeah, auto multi pad. We're in the auto drive uh, preset two, which is going to allow us to shift the gears in all power shifts. If you're in one, which is done, remember by this button. If we hit one here, notice a different set of presets, and we're only going to be able to do our power shifts. And we're just going to start off with that. Take off. It actually takes off on C3, and you can see that over here. Um, if we want to go to up, we can bump it here. That takes it to 3D, 3E, and 3F. But it beeps because we've maxed out. Oh, and just one other thing. This thing does have mechanical cab suspension because we just went over our little bump. But to set those speeds, you're going to hold this but this controller and the multi-pad controller will come back. Now we're down to 2B. I pulled them back, it's hard to, I need three hands. But that allows us to take off now at 2B. Whoop. We were in 2A because we had already taken off in that. But now we're in 2B and we can shift our power shifts here. Feel that? 
Dower 2C and 2D. Very slick setup. Or you can push the button here. There's 2E, 2F with push button on the loader joystick. So you've got multitudes of control of your tractor and your loader with the loader joystick here. If you want Just had to wear this thing. We had an overheat on the camera and we used the can cooler to cool our camera down. So just a weird thing that happened. Another great thing for Massey Ferguson feature if you're doing GoPro videos, your camera get hot. Just put it in the can cooler up here. It'll save your day. Uh, pull down sunshade is another cool feature. Pull that up. You do have your rear wiper back here and another power port here so those are some cool things we're going to turn up the air conditioner a little bit and uh, discuss a little bit more of the driving thing one of the cool things this is a three function shuttle you got speed change raise it up is just like neutral and directional change forward or reverse and forward three function power shuttle find another manufacturer that gives you that versatility with their shuttle with their their shuttle lever um, we'll just flip over here to auto drive We're going to put it in forward, and by pushing our pedal, it's automatically going to shift our power shift. We're up 2E, 2F. We slow down, and it's going to automatically downshift it. There's 2E, 2D. Pretty slick, huh? All controlled with the foot pedal. Push our brake in. Take it out of auto drive. Um, we're going to engage by pushing the forward button and the neutral trigger allows us to do forward. We're going forward. Now if we hit both the neutral button here and the trigger, we're going backwards. Push it again, we're going forwards. Isn't that a slick setup? And you can do it with your joystick or the multi-pad. Once you engage that, you can do either one. So. Another cool feature of the Massey Ferguson Premium 5S series, if you use the shuttle like I just did, it's not going to work till you wake it back up again. You have to be in neutral here to get it engaged so it don't work until we reset it, which all you have to do is come put this in neutral. Push and hold the buttons. Put the clutch in. It's going forward and reverse. C1 and C2 are going to be our presets. So C1, we click it, highlights, it's going to drop down to 1C. And if we hit C2, it's going to go to going to shift up now we're going to see something it wouldn't shift up any farther because we were outside of our range um, so what we need to do is we need to hit two where we're in 4a and 4f and that's a little fast for our little parking lot here to show that to change the c1 and c2 we're going to use these two rotary knobs here. If you watch, we're going to slow her down for parking lot. 
we'll do 4A, 2A, and we'll do 3A. Since we're in mode 2, which is our road mode, we can engage the C1 and C2. But man, isn't that view amazing? There you can see the LEDs working on our thing. So what we're going to do is I'm going to hit C1 and we're going to go to speed 2A. We're going to slow down. We're down to 2A. Now all I have to do is hit C2 which is going to take us to 3A. C, D, E, F. And we're in 3A. Slick combination. A lot of ways to drive this 5S series tractor. Premium features, superior features, superior performance. You're not going to find in another tractor. You ain't going to find a view like that. Have I told you about this awesome view that we've had for 30 years? Massey Ferguson, 30th anniversary of the steep slope hood. And then, busy old roof. Look at that, man. We may have a cloud brewing in Missouri. We are desperately dry. And man, I'd love to see some clouds and some rain. That'd make some happy farmers. Corn pollinating. Hay needs, we need water for hay. We need water for cows. We need water for crops. We need it for everything, so. Pray for rain for Missouri, man. We are in a desperate drought situation here. Uh, farmer attitudes are very good. We're selling stuff, man. There's some of our used stuff right there. Uh, been very, business been very good under the conditions, but man, you gotta make hay when you can make hay, and new Massey Ferguson hay tools are helping gather every bit of it, so. And a great tractor like this 5S will make you more efficient in the field with all these multitudes of ways to operate it. So, I hope that helped you learn a little bit more about the driving and operation of the Massey Ferguson 5S. Very similar to our 5700S, but with some cool new features to take it to a whole new level and wait for our loader addition to this video coming soon. We're excited. Even got the indoor mirror. So, let's check this out. We got the sound meter app up on the phone. Uh, we got it on the steering wheel here. So it's going to be a little closer to the engine, but I'm going to shut up and let you see. Fifty-five, fifty-six decibels. That's with the Eco Idle. Fifty-seven to fifty-eight decibels with the at eight hundred and fifty RPMs, and now we're going to take the engine RPMs all the way up. Twenty-two hundred engine RPMs, sixty-six decibels. Very, very quiet cab. Very, very cool cab. Um, Superior feature, superior specs, superior performance. That's what you get from Massey Ferguson S Series track. Listen to it purr. We got the LEDs on. Right out here tonight, but we got the lights around the grill when they're running. Rotating beacons. Come check out this 5S one of the ultimate track loader tractors in the industry 116 PTO horsepower now 145 engine if you're in West Central Missouri come visit us at Barnberg Implement right here on Fairground Avenue Missouri 13 Highway just four miles north of Interstate 70 
15 miles south of Lexington, Missouri in the Missouri River and just uh, 49 miles from the Kansas line, Missouri Kansas line just outside of Kansas City, Missouri. We've got a lot of tractors, compact utilities, hay tools, loader accessories. We got the 5S and we got the bigger tractors over here. Things are moving, things are moving in this. And we got tractors coming in and we want to show you this 5S and watch for the loader edition video coming soon. If you're in West Central Missouri, come visit us at Barnberg Implement. Or, this is a comment from a customer told me, Alexa, go buy a tractor at Barnberg Implement. See if that changed your uh, TV. It actually had a customer do that during a movie and just wanted to try it in a video. I thought it was a great idea. Alexa, come buy a 5S 145 Deluxe at Barnberg Implement. I need one to make my heydays and my loader work the best in the industry. Come visit us, Barnberg Implement, Higginsville, Missouri.